Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. <clears throat> I thought I would today go to one of the Psalms. Uh, and uh, the Psalm I've um, picked is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does my help come. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And when I read this psalm, it, uh, it reminds me of when I was... Um, young and <coughs> excuse me and uh, going to college and uh, living on my own for the first time sometimes I was overwhelmed by uh, life really by everything that was going on around me and I would go to the, the the shore the seaside and watch the waves rolling in not the very calm sea but a little bit turbulent and get my life and problems into perspective and I think the psalmist when he was in trouble looked at the hills and he thought about the majesty of the world and the beauty of the world that God had made and he asked the question where does my help come from where am I going to get help from and immediately the reply comes my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth the God who is great enough and big enough and amazing enough to have created this world in which we live is well able to look after us, look after me. That's what he found. That's what he's saying. This God who made everything is well able to help you, is well able to help me, is well able to prevent us from stumbling and slipping on the, on the ground. He, he is well able to look after us because he doesn't slumber or sleep. We need to sleep. And if we have a good night's rest, we feel wonderful in the morning. But God does not sleep or slumber. So in the middle of the night, when you're feeling in trouble, you can look to him for help because he doesn't sleep. It's a wonderful thought. When it says the Lord is your keeper, <coughs> the thing that the word keeper makes me think of is a zoo keeper an animal keeper. You know, if you've ever watched any of these zoo programs where the keepers look after the animals, every need of the animal is cared for by the keeper. Um, its waste products are dealt with, <coughs> its feeding is dealt with, its health is monitored, um, it, is, it is kept safe, it's looked after, and the keeper gets to know the animal so well that he knows immediately if something is not quite right with the animal he is keeper to. And this is a lovely picture of God. He knows us so well. He knows, he knows before we cry that we need his help. And he looks after, he, the Lord is my keeper. And just like if it's very, very hot, the keeper will make sure that the animals go indoors or go in the shade and don't lie in the sun and get overheated uh, so God is our shade and the sun will not damage us. The Lord will look after us. The Lord will keep you from all evil. This is what we say in the Lord's Prayer. Is, yeah, Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. The Lord, if we follow him, he will deliver us from evil. We keep our eyes on him. He will deliver us. We Evil comes to us when we worry, when we get anxious when we forget how, how, how extensive his care for us is. This psalm tells us just how extensive his care is, just like the keeper of the animal. God tends to every one of our needs. And we can trust him to get it right. The animal doesn't even think about trusting. Uh, it's, it, it doesn't have that thought process, but we have the choice. 
we have the choice. We can trust our keeper or we can uh, do things our own way and uh, perhaps uh, not be as healthy and as well as we would be if we let the keeper look after us. The Lord will keep you. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Every time we leave the house, he goes with us. Every time we come in, he comes in with us. He is with us all the time, wherever we are. He is with us. Where will I go from your presence, Lord? He is constant, faithful, trustworthy, the creator of the heaven and the earth. He made all of this beauty, all of this beauty that's burst forth in the last two or three weeks, all the, all the wonder of trees and flowers and seasons and, and stars in the sky and all the plethora of animals and variety. He made it all, all that wisdom and knowledge. We can trust him because he is our keeper. He is our help. If we look to the hills, we look to the skies, we look to this world, and we see how beautifully and how perfectly it is made. We know that the one who made it is so majestic, so mighty. He's well able to look after us. We can have a peaceful and secure day because we know he is our keeper. There we are. That's my thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.